Glass is useful for many things, like windows, vision correction, and liquor bottles. But it's not exactly known for its durability. So a while ago, we made a video explaining how manufacturers use toughened glass for gadgets like phones, tablets, and smartwatches that need to be able to stand up to everyday drops and scratches. You can check that video out up here. But for today's video, we're gonna look at the improvements that have been made to this technology in 2020. To do so, we reached out to our friends at Corning, who control a huge amount of the smartphone glass market, and we'd like to thank Dr. Jamin Amin, their technology lead, for his time and insight. So obviously, although toughened glass is a lot stronger than what they use in soda bottles, it's still far from perfect, and a roaring trade exists in repairing cracked phone screens. So plenty of time and money are still being poured into developing ever tougher screen glass. One of the fundamental concepts used in strengthening glass is ion exchange. Basically, what happens here is that the glass is dipped into a bath of potassium salts heated to around 400 degrees Celsius. This causes potassium ions to take the place of smaller sodium ions that were already present in the glass. Because the potassium ions are larger, it causes compressive stress, which makes the microscopic structure of the glass stronger and less vulnerable to scratching or breaking. But despite this process having been around for some time, companies are still trying to find ways to improve it. Corning, for example, has recently announced a new Gorilla Glass product called Victus, which is supposed to provide drop protection from up to two meters, or a little over six feet, scratch resistance of up to seven to 10 newtons, and withstanding force of over 100 kilograms in an area of less than two centimeters square before it'll break. That is a lot more than you'll probably ever put on your phone. Unless, of course, you step on it or give it the people's elbow. So how did they do it? Well, part of the process involved going deeper into the glass to increase compressive stress, like by giving the glass a second ion bath, which allows for ion displacement further down into the glass than a single treatment. Corning's also starting the process with a stronger glass in the first place before ion displacement even begins. Although, unfortunately, many of the specifics as to exactly what chemicals and methods they're using are trade secrets they weren't exactly willing to share with us. What we can tell you, though, is that it looks like Gorilla Glass won't be using sapphire glass, which Apple was once interested in, anytime soon. Unlike more conventional glasses, which are amorphous solids, sapphire glass is crystalline, meaning that it has a regular structure at the molecular level. This makes sapphire glass very hard, but also quite brittle, which isn't exactly a quality that you want on phone glass for obvious reasons. But then, if Victus glass isn't completely reinventing the wheel, does that mean we can expect it on our devices very soon? Well, Samsung has already introduced one phone with the new glass, so it shouldn't be long before it becomes more widespread. But before you rush out and buy something new because you want a more durable phone, there is one piece of inside baseball that you should know that phone manufacturers sometimes hide from the consumer. Toughened glasses are tested and rated at certain standard thicknesses, and sometimes this is what phone manufacturers do in fact end up using. But other times, they might order a new generation of glass, but ask to have it cut down to be thinner, helping to meet consumer demand for light, thin devices at the cost of taking away some of the glass's strength. So if you see a phone that uses a new generation of toughened glass, but lots of reviews that indicate that it might be fragile, that could be the culprit. Or of course, people might just be treating their phones like they're koosh balls. Speaking of, Balls. If you're a ballin' small business owner, check out FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the cloud accounting solution for business that allows you to work from anywhere with their mobile app and create professional invoices in seconds when you're on the go. You can snap pictures of your receipts and track your mileage on the iOS app as you drive so you can maximize your deductions at tax time. You can never miss an update so you can see when a client has viewed their invoice and when it's overdue. And right now, you can get 50% off three months of FreshBooks when you sign up for a paid plan at freshbooks.com slash techwiki. So don't wait, go check out FreshBooks today. Thanks for watching guys. Like, dislike, check out our other videos. 
Leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible, and don't forget to subscribe and follow, or I promise you, I absolutely promise you, that every time you use painter's masking tape, from now until forever, when you take it off, it's gonna rip off all the existing paint. You're gonna have to re-putty, you're gonna have to repaint it, it's gonna be a total mess. If you don't subscribe to TechWiki, put that kind of whammy on you.